Charlie walks into the duck under his arm, looks at his wife and says, This is the pig I've been sleeping with. Uh, hey there. Nice of you to finally show up, because you're not going to want to miss this one. On today's episode, we've got a gangster of a guest. Coming all the way from Battleborn Jiu-Jitsu and MMA in High Point, North Carolina. Welcome to the stage, Miss Wendy Anderson. Yeah! Boom, baby. Welcome to Nine Questions with Nine. I'm your host, Nine. You're Wendy. Is this little guy your husband, Kelly? Yes. Good to meet you both. How the heck are you, Miss Wendy? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm also doing great. In fact, that broad I hang out with and I have decided to adopt a pet raccoon. You mean trash pandas? Yeah, we prefer the term garbage goblins. Do you like garbage goblins? They're pretty cool. They're better than cool. Those little mongrels can catch fish with their own hand. I might ask him to teach me how to fish. That's not something people can do. I've been fishing before. Oh yeah? Did you go down to the creek by your house or something and catch some minnows? Um, I caught some mahi-mahi in Guam with my brother. And that was a lot of fun. Whoa! That's amazing. Forget the raccoon. Can you teach me how to fish? I guess so. Awesome. You're out of North Carolina, correct? Yeah. That's a long trip. How was your flight out to our little island of Casper? Um, it was actually a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. That's great. Let's get to the real questions. What's your favorite MMA or combat sports movie? What's the what? Movie. Best. MMA. The best what? What's the best fighting movie? Best movie about MMA. Oh, that one's a hard one. I just, honestly, I don't like any movie that's made about MMA. Maybe Million Dollar Baby, that one uh, made me made me cry like a baby. I'm not sure what crying does, but I've noticed this mangled ear situation on some of you fighters. Is that a thing? Do chicks dig the cauliflower ear? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm in luck. <laughs> you humans always do surprise me. So when you guys take your mangled ears and get all successful, you can do whatever you want. What's the one thing you're going to try and fix in the world? What is one thing I would fix about the world? World hunger? Is that why you learn to fish? So you can catch all the fish and feed everybody? That's stupid. No. People keep saying that. Huh. Anyway, what are the directions to Neverland? I'm pretty sure you just follow the North Star, right? Wrong, young lady. It's the second star on the right and straight on till morning. Hey, so speaking of Neverland, what's the deal? Is that place just full of dead kids wall to wall? Is that why they never grow up? I hope not. That's sad. You're telling me. When you guys were younger and that little fella would come to the windows like a creeper, it seemed like the parents just kind of let the dog be the nanny. What kind of nanny dog was that? Oh, and would you let that nanny dog watch your kids? I'm not sure what dog it was, uh, <laughs> but would I let a dog watch my kids? Absolutely not. <laughs> Do you guys have kids? No. We like that you're awfully protective of the kids. What do you think of the Cain Velasquez situation? I mean, I'd probably do the same. <laughs> that man's an absolute hero. Free Cain! <laughs> Miss Wendy, you're quite accomplished to have only trained for three years. Have you ever done any other sports? I used to play softball and soccer when I was younger. I play pretty much my whole life since I was four until 17, 18. Whoa, that was like a thousand years ago. <laughs> How old of a human are you? Like 87? <laughs> 27. <laughs> yeah, you gotta admit I was close. With all the time in sports, can you get more excited or nervous before a show? I'd say I'm more excited before a fight. The feeling is kind of overwhelming for me. I actually tend to throw up after a fight because I'm so excited. Even if you win? Only when I win. <laughs> Speaking of which, tell about this upcoming show you've got. Who, what, when, where, how, why? Doesn't matter. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Addie Bellinger. My striking is better than hers. My ground game is better than hers. Uh, so whether it's on the feet or on the ground, I don't win. Before we get out of here, I want to say, Mr. Kelly, I've heard that you're quite the coach. What have you got to say for anybody wanting to get into this sport? People that work hard and they do everything, they get opportunities like this get to be main event on big cards because of your hard work and effort. If there was no hard work and effort, then she wouldn't be having these title fights. So it goes to show as long as you just work hard and you're diligent about everything that you do 
and you put 100% in, you're gonna get these opportunities where you get to share the world and, and what makes you tick. And I think that that's a big thing that a lot of people don't have is that dedication to their sport, the dedication to their craft, becoming very good at what they do and becoming efficient. And with all of that, then comes all the cool stuff like TV spots and opportunities that most won't get. So all you young May fighters out there that aren't putting 100% into it, you should probably just quit. Yeah! That was advertised. That's all good advice. Let's wrap this episode up. Is there anyone you'd like to thank this Wendy? Yes, I want to thank Painted Post Salon, Aries Real Estate Solutions, and Renewal by Anderson. Oh, and Fist Rage. I also want to thank my whole team at Battleborn BJJ and MMA and my coach Kelly Anderson. Yeah, I would like to thank Wendy and her gorilla Kelly for coming all the way out to do this interview. Alrighty then. That's all we've got here today, folks. I apologize to Ken Shamrock for running out of time, but we'll get you on the show as soon as we can. Good night, everybody. Now get your stuff and get out. Like I say it. So his wife then says, That's not a pig, it's a duck. And he replied, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> <laughs>